Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Now, I'm at the local Toys R Us store here in my neighborhood and let's see if there's anything new in their special display area. Right, so what do we have here? Skeletor and Skeletor. Yep, lots and lots of Skeletors. You know, just two days earlier, I was at the same store and there was a mixture of He-Man and Skeletors. Today, it seems that all the He-Mans have been snapped up, but the Skeletors remain. Now, what do you think about that? Well, that's pretty much it. You know, four waves of Motu figures have been out locally in Malaysia since last September or so, but something like five months later, we're now only seeing a surplus of He-Man and Skeletor figures and nothing much else, you know. Now, even though the He-Mans are gone today and uh, I'm sharing the picture from when I was here two days ago and you can see that there was maybe like about a shelf full of them, uh, I'm sure that the He-Mans will be restocked soon. But I don't really have much faith that anything else will be anytime that soon. Now let me just turn back the clock a bit to sometime towards the end of September last year in 2020. Uh, my good buddy James is in the city in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Yeah, he's at the Toys R Us in the mall and he sends me the above picture the picture that I'm sharing with you here. And uh, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I absolutely could not. There was like an entire shelf dedicated to Masters of the Universe toy products. This was literally the first day that the toy range was launched in the country. Now, I knew that this was coming, okay? Uh, it was in the news and, you know, uh, there was in the news that Mattel was going to be doing it sometime in the year. But I never expected it to be so soon. And it was then that something kind of hit me. Okay, this was like the first time in since forever that a retro toy line from the 80s was being brought back to commercial retail stores uh, at regular retail prices, not inflated hobby store ones. And uh, this was a range that looked very much exactly like how it used to look like back in the 80s. Uh, and they had a whole range of line of toys planned out for possibly years. And uh, this was all happening at a time when I have the money to buy them. Okay. And it was then that it hit me that I have to collect every single thing that this line puts out. Now, over the next couple of days, I can safely say that just about every local collector and even many who weren't, and many more still, who never even thought of He-Man in the last 30 years or so, uh, all of these guys suddenly felt the urge to go out and buy Masters of the Universe toys. And this was something that was seen and felt pretty much nationwide. Now, I understand that Motu Origins uh, was exclusive to Walmart stores in the US when it came out. In Malaysia, it was exclusive to Toys R Us stores. And the figures that everybody wanted, especially back then, which were He-Man and Skeletor, at that time, these guys were nowhere to be found, okay? Uh, for maybe like the first five days of the series launch, uh, you could still find figures like Man at Arms and Evelyn on the shelves, okay? As unbelievable as that may seem today, uh, yeah, you could still find those secondary characters on the shelves because most collectors only wanted He-Man and Skeletor at that time. But uh, when they couldn't get them, most of them decided that just about any Motu figure would do, and so the rest of the figures started disappearing as well. Now, eventually, this led to long queues outside the store shutters on product arrival days, uh, overinflated prices by resellers, sometimes three times over, and also something that I haven't seen in a long time arguments between local collectors in online groups, especially when one collector would share his recent haul of uh, Motu toys and uh, made the mistake of buying two He-Man figures for himself 
because he wanted one carded for all time and one open to play with and then you know would find himself being subjected to malicious scorn and and remarks from the community for depriving everyone else of the chance to own that extra figure that he bought for himself now i don't know about you guys but i have never seen this mad craze for a toy line at least locally in a very very long time and the above picture of a toy shelf that's pretty much 99% empty. Now, this was pretty much what the scene looked like at stores nationwide when it came to He-Man toys in that first month. Now, throughout these times, Waves 2 and 3 did make it to shelves briefly. For maybe like two hours, you know, there was a time when the newer figures like Trapjaw and Scareglow were actually on shelves. But there simply wasn't enough supply of anything at the time and definitely not enough supply of He-Man and Skeletor figures. Okay, fast forward a few months later and suddenly there's a surge in stocks right around Christmas. Okay, He-Man and Skeletor figures start turning up on various local online platforms uh, including the Toys R Us website. And guess what guys, they've been there pretty much ever since. Now, I'm starting to wonder just how many of these were produced anyway because they seem to be everywhere now. And where the hell are the rest of the figures in the other waves? Okay, then I started to see the videos of the Motu toy store shelves in other countries and I realized that it was pretty much the same situation everywhere. Now, I know that He-Man and Skeletor are evergreen figures and should be easily obtainable. But come on, there's supposed to be an entire universe here. So now, even if you had the money, you still couldn't buy the figures that you want. And at this rate, hey man, I'll be happy to walk into a toy store and see Orko on the shelf. Look, the way I see it, the Motu toy line has survived all these years through a die-hard fan base that would keep buying their figures and supporting the toy line even when it was only available as an online exclusive. Hey, remember the Matty collector days? Um, then we have other companies like Super 7 who had the license for a while, but these were still being circulated through hobby stores or online pre-orders. But now, for the first time since the early 2000s, you can actually walk into a regular toy store and find He-Man toys. So that should be enough to give the line a new lease of life, right? Well, not if people lose interest in the chase if six months later they're still hunting down iconic figures like, say, Tila, which came out all the way in Wave 1. Now, they've bought their He-Man and Skeletor figures already. So where the hell is everyone else? Talking about the early 2000s, I remember the same thing happening to that modern incarnation of Masters of the Universe back in 2002. You know, the one that had the toy line that was done by those famous sculptors, the Four Horsemen? Okay, you'd see pictures of all these amazing figures, okay, universe building figures, vehicles, creatures, play sets. You'd see them online, on the internet, you know, in toy magazines. But when you actually got out there to the toy store, all you'd find were these weird variations of He-Man and Skeletor, like Ice Armor, Jungle Armor, uh, Samurai Armor, Snake Armor. Okay, actually, I won't knock the Snake Armor because uh, that one, <laughs> that one is seriously rare. Okay, that's hard to come by. But you get the picture. Anyway, I'm just hoping that soon, we all get to see more of the universe of Masters of the Universe. You know, more of them in toy stores. And not just these two leaders. And, and definitely not a situation where there's just like one trap jaw figure in a case of four He-Man figures. I mean, look, you know, you've worked hard all these years. Okay, it's come to this point. Okay, you have the cash to complete an entire toy line from your childhood. But guess what? Okay, it's still hard. Okay, it's so hard. Okay, maybe harder than when you were eight years old with no cash. Okay, and crying your eyes out at the toy store so your parents would buy you the toys and they still wouldn't. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, that's the video. That's the video. Uh, drop me a comment and let me know what you thought of it. Uh, do support me by subscribing to the channel and sharing the videos out. You know, help me to take this channel to its first milestone of a thousand subscribers. Come on, guys. I'm so close. Okay, I'm something like, you know, almost 950 here. Thanks, guys. You know, I'll catch all of you again real soon.